All right, babe, I'm pulling this out. Oh. You know what you're doing up there? <laughs> Matt and Sarah bought this house knowing that they wanted to do a renovation. They had this really romantic idea of what that was going to look like. We have three young children who love to play around outdoors. I'm picking up the girls. This is our current situation. So right now, we're currently living in my parents' house. Um, it's been pretty stressful. We just want to get into our own space. My husband's in one room. I'm in the other room. We're not sleeping in the same beds. We both are sleeping with our kids. Made everything else a priority and kind of put our relationship on hold for a little bit. Oh my. What is going on at the front of this house? Yes, Jasmine. <laughs> Hi. Oh, what do you my. think? What is all of this? That's from the inside of the house that you're going to walk into. The front yard looks like this, and uh, <laughs> I wasn't even expecting that. I, we, we've got to go inside. Yes, let's see. <laughs> all right. We've done a lot of work. Even though it doesn't look like it, this is a few months worth. So this is your kitchen. We want to do like an island and just use that as our dining room table. We don't have any anything drawn up. We have no plans, so. You got to this stage without a plan? We have no plans. What made you think that this was a project that you could take on? Just have always been able to solve problems and figured I could piece together this job with the people that I know. That is why I'm here. After seeing the kitchen, this is going to be really tricky design-wise. I mean, Matt and Sarah don't really have a defined design style. They know they want an island, and that's about as far as they got. So this is actually the floor that you purchased for the hole downstairs? Correct. This is uh, this is really nice, so tile. Yes. Did you measure, or did a tile installer measure? Um, one of my friends. The thing about tile is that it's printed in batches. You would want this whole first floor to come from the same lot. So if we have to buy additional, the chances of it matching are slim to none. You're starting to scare me with some of these things you're pointing out to me. I don't want to stress you out any more than you already are. Other stuff in here. Wait a minute. What is going on out here? This is our pool. OK, let's talk real numbers. The pool is about $90,000. OK. How much do you think you can give me for everything that we talked about inside? I believe 75. I'm not going to lie. I'm a little jealous of the pool guy's budget. I hope I can do it for that amount. We don't have any more money. You know, I had to take some money from the business, take some money from the retirement, and made sure that we could somehow take on the pool while we're doing this inside. I know that I've thrown a lot at you guys. Yeah, you opened our eyes up to a few things. I feel for you. And I know that your hearts are in the right spot. Just a little bit over ambitious. Our kids don't even have a home right now. So we want to give them that. I know how much this means to Matt and Sarah. When you want something for your kids, it's almost like you want it more than for yourself. I'm in this with you now. I'm going to do everything in my power to make it go as smoothly as possible for the least amount of money possible and get you back in here as quickly as possible. Oh, well, such we, a relief. Yeah, we can't thank you enough. So these are just the plans for a beam that they did to open up a wall. Scott is the general contractor that I use on most of my projects. OK. No, but like they did all this themselves. Oh, really? They opened up this wall. They reframed this window. The work is done, but I don't know if it's done right. So these are the plans. Now we just got to make sure that the homeowner did what the engineers are telling him to do. I mean, I asked him, I was like, are you a framer? He's like, no. Yeah. no. He knows as much about framing as I do about the gym, probably. So. <laughs> <laughs> so this beam across here, 3 and a half by 14 on 4 by 4 posts. So those are 4 by 6 posts, and this is a 6-inch beam. So they went bigger. <laughs> it's not a great start. I'm going to spend $65,000 on this kitchen, which is new countertops, new cabinets, new electrical, new plumbing, new everything. I'm also going to spend $10,000 in the front room and the sunken den, where the fireplace is going to get a full facelift. So on this wall, they've plumbed for their sink. They moved it over here, which I think was actually a really good idea, because they have this opening down into the living room. So above the sink, I want to do a really cool factory window as an accent piece. Over here, we'll do their range with a hood above it. Over on this wall, we can have the refrigerator. The big thing for this room is an island. I want to add a huge island that seats six people, has porcelain countertops, and the front will be covered in a sophisticated teal tile and finished with a brushed brass toe kick. 
finally, for lighting, I want black metal can lights coming out of the ceiling to add another layer of color and texture in the room. We have a yep. lot to do before our next inspection. Yep. I'm estimating about four weeks to complete this project, but that's only if we get approved by the inspector. Lots to do. If this doesn't go well, tomorrow I have to cancel my whole construction day. The inspector's here, and I've invited Matt to attend the inspection. Passing this inspection is so important, but passing it without blowing up my budget is also really important. So it does look like you've removed the walls that are according to this plan. And due to that, you guys needed this beam to come into play. Right. And it looks like you are missing something. The architect and the engineer are calling for a horizontal strap and a vertical strap. But you're missing your vertical strap. You just got to run your strap from here all the way up to that block. It's not going to stop the construction. We can still work tomorrow. Yeah. Yes. So based on what you've done inside, you do pass the framing inspection today. Really appreciate that. All right, we'll I'll see, see you guys on the next one. All right, thank you. Thank you. I feel really good about that. That was great. And now you know your house is safe. Drywall is one of those steps where, like, it's a huge difference. You can start to see how this house is actually going to look. We just have to tape, mud, prime, paint. All right, we still have a lot to do, but at least this is a big step forward. The cabinets are going in, which is super exciting because this is the first part of the kitchen where we're actually putting it back together. Part of having a house that you feel like you can move into is loving that house. And I know that Sarah hated this fireplace, so my goal is to bring it all the way to the ceiling and all the way to the walls. Scott and I are tackling this fireplace. We're going to add shelves, we're going to add a box beam mantle, and we're going to add a bench. And all of those things playing together with the fireplace is going to make this whole room feel really symmetrical. This kitchen, the countertops, the cabinetry, the walls, like everything's pretty neutral. Then you add in black accents. They have a black sink, a black faucet. We're gonna have these black can lights that come out of the ceiling. Adding the metal accents. These are the things that are gonna dress this kitchen up and it's just gonna make this kitchen that much more special. I love finishing projects. Today is extra exciting because Matt and Sarah have been out of their house for six and a half months. And now, today, they get to come home. This is the end of their construction journey. And being able to make that happen, that's everything. Hi, guys. We're home. You're home. We're home. Are you wow. ready? Yes. You should go inside and see the house, just the two of you. OK. Because you haven't had a lot of time, just the two of you recently. Experience this together, and then I'll come find you guys. Let's go. All right, yes. go. Go ahead. <laughs> Oh, my gosh. <laughs> <laughs> what? Oh, my god. This is our house. Oh, I my god. Know. Look at that window. That is so amazing. Oh, my This god. is freaking awesome. This? I mean, oh, my gosh. I totally forgot about this. We're going to hold it downstairs. <laughs> and the fireplace isn't center, and I love it. We would have never done any of this. We can breathe now. We're home. It's just awesome. What do you think? I love it. Yeah. Thank you oh. so much. <laughs> You're welcome. Oh my god, we're home. I love how everything's hidden. It looks so it looks huge. Honestly, there's nothing I don't love. Like love. This is like one of my favorite kitchens I've ever seen in my entire life. And it's cool because like literally you walk in the door. And, you, and it's like boom. Right there. It's an open floor plan, which we definitely wanted. So I think we'll put the range right in the middle right here. Can you even with this range, by the oh way? Oh, my god! Are you kidding me? I mean, that is a serious range. So as far as this island goes, this island's enormous. These countertops are porcelain, even sturdier than quartz, meaning, Durable. like, go for it. <laughs> Have at it. OK, so I'm in love with this. You guys had the idea to leave the opening. Yes. I love the idea because you guys can be here doing dishes. You can still see the kids. Brilliant. <laughs> OK, so down here, you guys, before, I don't know. I feel like you guys are kind of down on this room, like pun intended. <laughs> the tough thing was it was kind of connected. It kind of wasn't. And then also the fireplace. Let's take a look at this fireplace. No houses have that on one side like that. Well, this house does. Do you know what it costs to move this fireplace? You're crazy. Definitely my favorite part of the room, which I never thought I would be saying. 
We've learned to have a little more self-awareness of like the big picture, have a little more respect for what goes into a project like this, you know? I think he just built so many memories to come in this house. Juggling life, switching houses, not staying in the same house with my husband and a kids and a family. I mean, and now we get to be together. We get to be together as a family, finally. I can't wait to get the kids in here. Come here. Oh. This is our home. Can't wait for all the memories that are to come. Can we pick whatever one we want? Yes. I mean, when we bought the home, we knew the location. It was going to be our forever home, but now it's a beautiful forever home.